Welcome to another one of my mad YouTube videos. Now, a few people have asked what I do on a typical day. So this is a day when I'm being really good at home and going off to Pilates in the afternoon or maybe even having a nice long ladies lunch. So I'll talk you through very quickly what I do. The first one is, please don't judge me, um, I get a big glass of water down me. I'm sure you all do that. And I go downstairs, I'm not going to make coffee now, but I go downstairs, look, alternative ageing mug, and let Doggy Jack out. Can you see Doggy Jack? Can you see Doggy Jack? Yes, Leah's behind the camera, so she may join in. Come back with my one shot of organic coffee, black, no sugar, and then I get on with my day's work because I'm usually listening to my favourite radio program in the morning which if you want to know is Chris Moyles on Radio X because he makes me laugh a lot um so I usually sit till the work's done so that's from like 7 30 to 9 30 sometimes 10 sometimes 10 30 don't judge me because I'm in my pajamas but I'm working hard then we get on with exercise and the day and I'll talk you through it right I'm gonna you can watch me strip now because I'm going to do a few, I do a few exercises every morning, minimal, just that work every part of your body. Now, you know that I've got, um, uh, I'm going to keep my glasses on because I can't read things in the bathroom. But you know that I have another video on the five Tibetan right. So look that up if you want to know more. But the difference is when we get downstairs and I show you is that I've added a couple of different yoga poses and, I, and I'm sure you're aware of the Hollywood plan. There was some really good exercise in there. So I've sort of made up my own five Tibetan rites. So into the bathroom. Leah's so good. Right, so what I do, imagine I'm naked. What a thought. Um, always do the skin brushing before the shower. And again, when we get on to skincare, briefly, um, if you look up the Wrinkly Chest Prey product, P-R-A-I, have I pronounced that right, Leah? Is it Pry or Prey? I'll get it out. Anyway, skin brush, which I'm sure you're doing, always towards the heart. It's really good for cellulite and wobbly skin, really good for removing toxicity. Always up the legs, up the thighs, especially around the tummy, and then into the shower. Then, what I do, I don't think I need my glasses for this, is very cold water, three splashes on my face to just wake up the skin and get that going. And obviously, minimal makeup. Now, my favourite products, these are not freebies, I'm not doing a collaboration. Um, they do send me the odd freebie, Sarah Chapman. They sent me this, and I rather like it. I don't know if it's done any good but I put it all over my lips it's called lippy balm and it's rather nice for moisturizing then I put I don't know how to pronounce it Sarah Chapman skin insurance SPF 30 so this is a goodie because I also use it look at that color see can you see that it's a bit of color so that's for minimal minimal makeup put it on the back there look and it just gives the face a nice sheen and then I don't need to do anything else. I usually pop on a tiny bit of eyeliner and I also mix, again a top tip from a friend, little bit of tanning stuff. It's called the Tan Lux and I put that within the moisturiser. Then of course the important cream, this I have done a collaboration with Prey Pry on this. Um, look at the other video, but this stuff, the before and after um, pictures of my very wrinkled chest were unbelievable after just seven days. So that always goes on in the morning and I've started using it on my wrinkly arms and this is for decolletage and throat as well. I don't know why neither of us can remember the name. Pry, pray. Anyway, P R A I. I'll put all the details underneath. So that's sort of it. Of course, brush your teeth. I've started using Zendium again. No freebies. Um, the only reason I use this one is because a brilliant doctor on his podcast recommended it because it's completely natural. 
So that's it. Have I done everything in here? I think I have a tiny little bit of lippy and off we go downstairs. And this is what we do next. Whoops, Jack. Jack, hey, are you following me? Yep. Um, Jack loves his toys and he usually does it while I do my exercises. Normally, I would do my exercises before the shower, but as we're going downstairs where there's room for the mat, we're doing them now. So imagine that I do all of this before the shower and Leah's going in the other room <laughs> to film me. I hope I'm not, we're not making you feel sick. Tell me when you're happy. Oh, so good. this is a mixture of the Tibetan Five Rights, a bit of yoga and a bit that I've taken from the Hollywood plan. And I think this gives me a proper workout. I did it for a month in Australia, religiously every single day, along with my 10K steps and intermittent fasting, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, and I got really fit. So the first thing, which is very Tibetan rights, is doing this. You build up every single exercise, doing your spotting, to 21, I'm only going to do three or four because I'll get completely dizzy. But this apparently is very good for just waking up your body. And one doctor was quoted as saying, an Indian doctor, that if you do just this every day, you will have a stress-free day. So get spinning. Imagine how happy kids are when they spin around. Um, and then the next thing I do is again to Bethany Wright. Sorry, Leah, moving around and the oh no it's not sorry wrong um the first one instead of the first tibetan rites for the tummy the tibetan rites is like that and i found that was killing my back so the hollywood plan one works you much harder and it is very much pilates so i do 21 of these they don't look like much that's one that's two that's three. And by the time you get to 21, you can really feel it's worked your tummy. And it doesn't hurt your bloody back at all. The other one that is Tibetan rights, I still don't know what this does, but I always incorporate it. It's up to, tw start slowly. You start with one or two exercises and build up slowly to 21. Your body will tell you. But that's the other one I do. It works the front of the thighs, big time, and the glutes. And I should probably fall forward far more. Phew. And then the next one is, I think this is Tibetan rites as well. Yes, it is. One of these, well, build up again. Two, three, 21 of these and the back of your arms will be singing. And the final one, which I've changed completely, is thanks to my lovely friend, Jo Good, middle-aged minx. So go and check out her YouTube video, because she does it far better than me. And if any yoga teachers are watching this, please forgive me, I'm utterly crap at this, but I'm still waking up my body and using, I hope, every muscle in it. This is my adapted version. So it's basically sun salutations with a little bit of work in between. Right, forward, plank. This is a goodie. We always do this in Pilates. Bit of a plank. Then I have to use my knees. Then you go down to cobra. And then you go up to downward dog. And actually, because I only started doing these a little while back, I can only do about eight. My hair's a mess now. So I'll do one more, but watch videos on this. Well, I'll do a separate one, how's that? I'll do a separate one when I'm up to 21 and I can do them properly. Plank, and then down to cobra, oh, lift your legs, that's a killer. And then back to downward dog. And that's my easy version. But if you look at everyone else's videos, especially Joe's, um, it's much tougher. 
And as I said, I can only manage eight. Right, now in the kitchen, and I'll talk through the rest of the day when we get there. Oh my God, see how out of puff I am. Right, hello Amelia. <laughs> so the next thing I do, now this is not for everyone, but oh my gosh, I am now the same waist I was when I was 25, with a thicker waist. Um, but I'm owing all that to, not the 5-2, which I've always been a fan of, um, not fasting in, specifically for five days on end, which I still like to do spring and autumn, but this is what I did for a month in Australia and lo lost heaps of weight, along with walking 10,000 steps a day. I don't eat anything till 11 o'clock. I do the 16-8. So for eight hours I eat, for 16 hours, is that the right way? I don't eat. So I have my last meal at seven, if I can possibly um, leave it that early. It's difficult if you're meeting people and you don't have to do it every day. But I have my last meal at seven, normally on a normal quiet day. And then you're asleep for a good eight, nine hours, watching telly or whatever. I don't have another thing, nothing to munch. And then I don't eat, and then I have a proper brunch till 11, and that is 16 hours. And I thoroughly recommend it if you're fit. Um, if you're not, check with your doctor first, but I'm sure you've seen it online. It is so common now. The only thing I do have, again, I'm not working with them, I don't get a discount or anything, but this again was recommended. This is the cheats way of doing, doing a smoothie or reduce. Athletic greens, not cheap, but I do a spoonful. I'm not going to do it for you, but it's basically everything you would get from green vegetables, all the vitamins and minerals, plus probiotics, plus a thousand ingredients. It just goes into a glass of water on an empty stomach, and look how much energy I have, and I haven't eaten yet. So that's it, that is my morning. And then dear Doggy Jack needs his walk, and I need to start my 10K steps a day. And so we will go for a longish walk, I need it by then, and have brunch, maybe out, meet friends, or have brunch before I go, or have brunch when I get back. And if I'm at home all day, I might have a Pilates class, um, or work a bit more, or meet someone, but whatever I do, if I'm at home around two o'clock, I have a little lie down, because siestas are very good for you. Our circadian rhythm actually forces us to want to sleep at two o'clock. This is completely normal. It's nothing to do with what you've eaten. Um, no more than 10 minutes, otherwise your night's sleep will be disturbed. But that's how I do a nice, quiet day. And then I might go out in the evening, or go to the movies, or whatever. But that's a typical day of the typical life of the Susie Grant from Alternative Aging. I do hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe and please leave comments. I love your comments and I'll see you very soon.